Hey guys, so there's a brand new way you can get the hand cannon in Resident Evil 4. I'm not exaggerating when I say you can literally get this thing within 15 minutes. So if you've been struggling to get this beast of a weapon in Resident Evil 4, here's what you have to do. Now ordinarily, the hand cannon is one of the hardest weapons in the game to get. To unlock the hand cannon, which is a revolver magnum dealing out huge damage, you'll need to beat the game on professional difficulty without using bonus weapons. Professional difficulty is unlocked once you've completed one full playthrough of Resident Evil 4 on any difficulty setting. That used to be the way to unlock the hand cannon, but now that's all changed with the arrival of Mercenaries Mode. Mercenaries Mode gives you an alternate way to unlock the hand cannon, and as I say, it's a much easier time. This thing is now attainable for the average player, and by that I mean me. All you have to do to unlock the hand cannon is load up Mercenaries Mode, which you can download right now for free, and get an S rank in all three Mercenaries stages. Now this is ridiculously easy to do. I consider myself an average to poor Resident Evil player, and I managed to do it on my very first try. Just keep moving, keep killing, try and build up that combo meter, and save your grenades for when enemies start pouring into the level. Then take them all out in one go with a grenade to massively boost your score. And when there's a more difficult enemy, like uh, a Garador for instance, go into mayhem mode by clicking in both sticks to do way more damage. That's pretty much the gist of it. Each of the three unlockable characters have their own special ability. I'm using Leon here, but he's actually taking the form of Lewis as I'm using a mod, because I just like Lewis. But ordinarily, this is Leon. But as I say, this is really easy. Most players will be able to do this and get NS rank. And to make this even easier, you can even die and still keep your score. Thankfully, your score does not reset, unlike in old Resident Evil Mercenaries modes. You don't even need to get NS rank with every character. You could do any character you want and get NS rank with them. All you need is to get three S ranks in total. One on the first level, village. One on the second, which is castle. And one on the third, island. When you get your three S ranks, a message will pop up saying you can buy the hand cannon in the bonus shop. It's that easy. Now, on the downside, the fact that Mercenaries Mode awards a hand cannon upon getting three S ranks does kind of mean players who already have the hand cannon are missing out on getting something out of Mercenaries Mode. There's no unique reward for Mercenaries Mode. But speaking for myself personally, as someone who was never going to unlock the hand cannon the other way, this is a win. Also, Mercenaries Mode does count towards the Gun Fanatic Challenge at the very least, so that's good. The Gun Fanatic Challenge being an achievement or trophy you can get for getting all 29 weapons in the game. So you can unlock the hand cannon through Mercenaries Mode and get the Gun Fanatic achievements. But if you are looking for a tough challenge after getting the three S ranks needed to unlock the hand cannon, there's an even higher rank above S. This is S++. Going after that is definitely going to take a while, even for the best players. And hey, maybe there's a special reward for getting S++ rank on all three levels with all three characters. I don't know though, that's kind of outside my skill level, I'll admit, but hey, if you know about that, if you know there's a special reward for doing that, then let me know in the comments. Anyway, that's the easy new way to get the hand cannon in Resident Evil 4. Thanks for watching and subscribe to the channel for more Resident Evil 4 guides. <laughs>